the Ethereum network is getting a long-awaited upgrade that will address scalability and security issues. In addition, the blockchain global computer will transition to a proof-of-stake consensus technique in its first phase. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. This is Upstep Financial. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Ethereum 2.0 and the proposed upgrades. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to be notified of new uploads. Now, let's get started. Ethereum, ETH, the world's second most popular blockchain platform after Bitcoin, BTC, wants to be everything its predecessor isn't. Unfortunately, some of Bitcoin's flaws, such as the latter's emphasis on a proof-of-work POW consensus mechanism and overall lack of scalability, is holding it back. The multi-phased Ethereum upgrade, including the Beacon Chain, Merge Chain, and Shard Chains, aims to improve the Ethereum network's scalability and security by modifying its infrastructure. The most noticeable change is the switch from a proof-of-work POW consensus approach to a proof-of-stake POS model and each have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum, proposed a blockchain platform in 2013 that supported apps and other services that weren't necessarily related to banking. Buterin saw a world in which developers might use decentralization to create governance systems, lending platforms, databases, and digital representations of physical goods, among other things. However, despite Buterin's claims that Ethereum is a global supercomputer, the network struggles to validate a few hundred transactions in a reasonable amount of time. On Ethereum, users who trade modest sums of money must pay fees and other expenditures that can amount to over 100%. Ethereum is unquestionably founded on dubious technology for a platform that seeks to alter how the world interacts on a network. Buterin, other network engineers, and the Ethereum Foundation are all aware of the project's constraints, which is a good thing. Ethereum's developers also recognize that Ethereum's blockchain constraints deter institutional investors and other interested parties from adopting the cryptocurrency. Buterin and the Ethereum team have proposed a network upgrade, termed Ethereum 2.0, or ETH2, to address Ethereum's scalability issues. Ethereum 2.0 will transform Ethereum functions from the ground up, but it will take years to accomplish. Ethereum engineers have been working relentlessly since 2020 to complete the network's upgrade, intending to make Ethereum quicker, more secure, and more accessible than ever before. So now, what is Ethereum 2.0? Ethereum 2.0 is a shift from the present blockchain 1.0 version to a new avatar focused on higher speed, TPS, efficiency, process efficiency, energy efficiency, lower electricity usage owing to POS, high security, and scalability. These suggested enhancements to the existing ETH 1.0 network will allow for faster transaction processing at a lower gas cost. Hello there. I hope you're having a good time watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments section below. What are the upgrades that have been proposed? To fully comprehend how Ethereum 2.0 will overcome all obstacles and accomplish the intended goal of scalability and speed, we must first comprehend the planned modifications critical in realizing this vision. So here are the upgrades that have been proposed. The first is to switch to a proof-of-stake system. Proof-of-work is the original method utilized by blockchains. To execute transactions and receive rewards, POW needs computers to compete against one another. This process consumes a lot of energy and takes a long time. As a result, some emerging cryptocurrencies have chosen a different path, proof-of-stake. With the upgrade to version 2.0, Ethereum will switch to POS, allowing the faster transactions and reduced costs. Instead of nodes competing for a block of transactions by utilizing significant amounts of power, POS achieves consensus by using an algorithm that selects a node to win a block of transactions. When a node is picked, it creates the chain's next block of transactions. These nodes are commonly referred to as stake pools in POS. Stake pools, or nodes, are selected based on the magnitude of the stake they hold. To put it another way, the larger a stake pool's coin holdings are, the more likely it is to be picked to forge a block and get rewards. Other variables, like the number of times coins have been staked, can be factored into the selection process to ensure that the wealthiest pools do not always win. Holders of the coin can stake their holdings in a stake pool, and the reward received by the pool, node, when it is chosen to generate a block, 
is dispersed among the individual stakers. Some proof-of-stake blockchains have incorporated randomization into the process, ensuring that older and larger stakes do not always win. Miners are thus replaced in POS by stake pools, where people risk their currencies. Individuals can stake or deposit their coins in various stake pools. In the same way, miners can join a mining pool to increase their earnings. The merging of mainnet and beacon chain is the next step. This phase is expected to be finished by 2021 or the first few months of 2022. The testing phase is still in progress. The merge phase's goal is to officially switch the main chain to proof-of-stake consensus, signaling the end of the legacy proof-of-work system. It also aspires to be extremely energy efficient. Another goal is to seamlessly combine the main chain with the beacon chain and finish the migration. The main chain, which uses POW, is currently operating while the beacon chain, which uses POS, runs in parallel. After this merging, the ultimate objective of ETH 2.0, scalability, security, and speed, will be realized. Let's talk about what the merge phase is. The beacon chain was deployed initially to work in tandem with the main net rather than replacing it. The main net is utilized by Ethereum 1.0, which employs proof-of-work consensus, while the beacon chain is tested with proof-of-stake consensus. Therefore, this merging phase will finally unite both chains into a single main chain. Let's discuss what this merger phase will lead to. As a result, after the merge phase is complete, the main net will be able to run smart contracts in the proof-of-stake system, with the full history and present status of Ethereum, ensuring a smooth transition for all current Ethereum holders and users. Let's now discuss the shard chains. Once the beacon chain merging has been completed successfully, this phase will be launched. This phase could be completed in 2022. However, the dates are still subject to change. What is the shard chain phase's purpose? Ethereum's storage capacity and data access will be improved. By extending the network to 64 blockchains, these shard chains are built to increase network capacity and improve transaction speed. Another important goal of the beacon chain improvement is to ensure that no single staker disproportionately impacts block validation. To do so, Beacon Chain will award stakes to shard chains at random, preventing any one staker from colluding and taking over a shard. But exactly what is sharding? It is the process of horizontally partitioning your main database to delegate duties. These separate shards will aid the network in reducing network congestion, increasing transaction performance, and increasing the number of validator nodes to help the network scale. The following are some sharding features. Sharding will enable the Ethereum blockchain to become more lightweight in terms of the hardware requirements to run the validator software. Because validators only need to store slash run data for the shard, they're validating a portion rather than the entire network. This will eventually incentivize many more users to act as validators. More secure and decentralized network. After sharding, Anyone with an internet-connected laptop or smartphone will be able to participate as a validator or delegator. More participation will eventually result in a network that is more decentralized and much safer. So when will Ethereum 2.0 be released? The transition to Ethereum 2.0 is being done in stages. The first stage, known as Phase 0, is currently operational. The beacon chain is introduced in Phase 0. The beacon chain is a new POS blockchain that will eventually combine with Ethereum's current chain. The beacon chain is a test net for the future POS version of Ethereum as it adds POS and prepares Ethereum for staking and shard chains. The merge is the second step, often known as phase one. The merge signifies the official transfer to the POS consensus model in which the existing Ethereum network and the beacon chain will be merged. The integration is also known among Ethereum developers as the docking. It is expected to happen in late 2021 or early 2022. Ethereum will become a proof-of-stake POS blockchain after the merger, allowing Ethereum holders to stake their Ether and collect rewards. It's crucial to note that Ethereum holders are not required to take any action while Ethereum is in the process of merging. Instead, this will be a fully automated process. The final step, dubbed Phase 2, implements sharding so that Ethereum can scale and handle more transactions. After the merger, shard chains are planned for 2022. That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads.
This is Upstep Financial, and we'll see you in our next video.